This is Sa Majesty Easy World Science Channel. Today we will be discussing fibrillation, that is ventricular fibrillation and defibrillation. What is fibrillation in general? This is the uncoordinated contraction of the muscle fibers and fibrillation cannot be seen through the skin as in fasciculation. Fasciculation, there is a kind of movement under the skin such that you notice it. But in fibrillation, it is the muscle fibers them, themselves that are contracting in an uncoordinated way and might not lead to effective pumping. Here, we are discussing the fibrillation of the lower heart thicker chambers known as the ventricles. Remember, the ventricles are responsible for pumping blood out of the heart. Therefore, they need more force to pump the blood. If there is not enough force, they won't be able to pump enough blood to the whole circulation and that might lead to death. And this is why the ventricular fibrillation together with the ventricular tachycardia are fatal arrhythmia. Arrhythmia is an irregular or uncoordinated beat of the heart. And the arrhythmia affects the cardiac output, of course, it might slow it down. And when this happens, the supply to the, the supply of blood to the heart itself is also affected. Then, fibrillation occurs when there is misinformation or disruption in the heart electrical system. The heart electrical system is made up of the sinoarterial node known as the natural heart pacemaker that initiates the beat of the heart. This is located in the right atrium near the superior vena cava, as you can see, they're circled on white. Then we have other parts, the, the AV, known as the arteriovertricular node. Together with the Purkinje or the bundle of his, these are the network that are responsible for the electrical conduction of impulse in the heart. If there is misinformation in any of this system, there will be an uncoordinated contraction of the muscle fibers and when it affects the particular ventricles we call it the ventricular fibrillation as you can see there and in this case the blood is retained inside because this quivering is not enough to push the blood out from the ventricles and this will deny the supply of blood to the whole body and including the coronary system and that will lead to cardiac arrest what must be done to save life what should be done is what we call defibrillation that is trying to reverse that misinformation so in defibrillation it involves delivering a dose of electric shocks to the heart as a counter shock to restore the normal heart rhythm in what we call the normal heart sinus so in this case you need to place the aed properly most of them are actually automated such that they will give you instruction on what to do next so follow the instruction carefully the two parts we have the the left and right there is a way they label it the other one should be placed at the right or at the left on just below the collar uh, then the other one below the armpits and introduce the shocks when these shocks are introduced they are enough to restore the heart to a normal heartbeat and the life is saved thanks for watching please subscribe and share expand the science community much love